Top of the morning, you lot. How's it going? Hope you're all absolutely brilliant, as usual. It's the last day for me of Christmas, no work. Yes, yeah, New Year's 2024 now, and I'll go back to work tomorrow, the 3rd of January. So, just sort of chilling out. Got a lot of things I want to get done today. Last things, you know what it's like? You push everything along, didn't you? You think, oh, I've got so much time off. I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And before you know it, you've got to go back to work, and you've not done half of what you want to do. So, but I'm just sort of playing around. I'm charging up a battery here. I've already charged up one for my dad's lawnmower. This is my spare car battery that I always keep in the garage. I always keep a spare car battery just in case one of the cars needs a battery. I keep it topped up. So I'm just giving that a bit of a charge. It's actually pretty much done. It's down to naught amps now, but uh, just uh, giving that a bit of a charge. The noise around here recently on the old CB is getting pretty bad. Something goes on and off. I think the old neighbours have got a lot of electric electricity stuff, you know. Anyway, speaking of batteries, now that I've been doing some electrical stuff, some people have been asking about batteries, they've been asking about lipos, bits and bobs like that. So let's have a little look and I'll show you the calculations that can be done to work out how you should charge up a lipo. But by no means am I anywhere near, you know, actual proper information. This is just kind of like a little bit of a guide that I thought I'd do, try and answer a few of the little questions. Um, and you can use the aid of a calculator here if you need it. But basically, you know, it's quite simple. The C rating is the amount of discharge that it can take. That's the milliamps, that's the capacity of the battery. And that's obviously the potential difference or the voltage of the battery. And the three S means how many cells it is. This is a three cell battery. So it's got three S written on it. And 11.1 volts because, as I wrote down here, just to try and help, one cell is 3.7 volts, so obviously a 2S will be 3.7 times 2 equals 7.4. With a 3S, it'll be 3.7, just for proof on here, just to help some people that uh, may need visual help. 3.7 times 3 equals 11.1, .1, which is 11.1 .1 volts because it's a three cell. It's the same for a four cell, a five cell, and a six cell, and all the way up. It's just, you just they're all 3.7 volts per cell. Add it up however many cells are in. Sorry about that, the camera had some sort of buffer overload as it says, and took about six hours to bloody sort itself out. Hopefully we should be going again now. Anyway, so as I, as I was saying, confusingly, each cell will be 3.7 volts. It will go up to about 4.2 volts when fully charged, but at the resting state, what they should be is about 3.7 times however many cells there is, it gives you the voltage. Anyway, so, let's just say, you see, this is a, that, that would be the discharge, C there, and that would be the discharge. So, if you want to know how quickly you can discharge this battery, uh, let's not charge them, but if you want to discharge it, all you have to do is you just do the 3000 milliamps, which is what that is there, times 30 C, so just times 30. So if we do three, one, two, three, 3000 uh, times 30 gives us 90,000. So we can charge this at 90,000 amps. At, not charge, discharge at 90,000 amps. You know, so <coughs> if we've got a car with the motor and ESC or whatever you want to say of 100 amps it won't be any good for it yeah if you've got one that does 60 amps that battery there would be okay it would be well within its capabilities of 90,000 amps discharge that's my understanding of all of that that's what I work on that's my rule of thumb of how I do a very simple small calculation and usually just ignore it after I've done the calculation but anyway some batteries like this one they say uh, a charge rate of 1 to 2C is recommended. All right. So if it gives you a charge rate of 1 to 2C, that means that you need to um, charge it no more than 1 or 2C. So for that, obviously, 1C would be 3,000. And just to prove that to you, 3,000 times 1 equals 
3,000. I mean, that's an obvious calculation. Everybody would know that anyway. So you can charge that battery at 3 amps. Or, if you wanted to charge it slightly quicker, because it says 1 to 2C, there we go, 1 to 2C is recommended, we can charge 3,000 times 2, which obviously is 6,000. So, we can charge it at 6 amps if we want to charge it a bit quicker, but it's not recommended according to their little thing there, that you go any higher than 6 amps for charging it. Now, <coughs> it is important to remember that it's difficult, at least to my knowledge, uh, my knowledge might be slightly old these days, but it is difficult to charge a battery fast without doing some degree of damage to it, which is why I don't like all these fast chargers for phones and whatever. And I'd rather plug it in and have it charge over a few hours than have it charge in half an hour. I mean, some phones these days charging from zero to four in 15 minutes, that can't be any good for the battery. I mean, I know they do, it's designed for that, otherwise they wouldn't bring it out, but I just think that they go with what the customer wants sometimes, and they obviously want people to buy new phones and new batteries, so they're not too bothered if they break early, because people will just go out and buy another one, because that's the way the world is these days. Um, personally, I like to charge batteries reasonably slow not stupidly slow i mean you don't have to charge it at three amps you can charge it at one amp or two amps if you want it'll just be really slow um well a lot slower than it would be <coughs> if you wanted to now because obviously if you charge it at three thousand if it's on you know if it's flat and you charge it at three amps or three thousand milliamps which is three amps it'll take about an hour to charge but if you charge it at six thousand it should take about half an hour roughly um, that's my rule of thumb, I don't really time them, but that's what it should be. Um, let's do another simple little calculation, and by the way, as I said, I'm not, this isn't, I'm not like the professional on batteries, it's just my little rule of thumb of what I do, and what, the way I work it out. Um, there's a lot more science and a lot more complication comes into it, and all this other rubbish that I just don't go too far into because I don't want to make things too complicated for myself let alone anybody else but um let's get another battery and we'll do another little ca calculation so I've got a couple of other little batteries here now so I've got this one which is a little receiver pack which goes in my S-Works buggy which I'm still in the process of putting together and then we got this um, 3S well that's a 2S by the way um, I've got this 3S one so it's three cells and two cells as you can see, there's the cells. One, two. Now, uh, this one I use for my engine here. I'll just go in a car sometimes. Um, so, this one, for example, it's a uh, 1000 milliamps. So, it's a 1 amp. Um, 7.4 volt 2S. Alright? And it says on the back, um, not all batteries have it on the back, which is why you might need to just take a rough. You know, it personally on any battery, I wouldn't go any higher than 2C of a charge anyway. But if it says you can, then you can, whatever. But it does sound the back in quite small writing, so this camera may have a little bit of trouble focusing on it. But we will get there eventually, hopefully. There we go. Uh, don't charge any higher than 4.2 volt per cell. Do not charge with a current exceeding 2C. Um, you can charge at 5C in exceptional circumstances, but it will damage the battery if you charge at 5C. I, I can tell you that now. Um, so 2C, so obviously 1,000 times 2, which is 2,000. And to prove that to you, oh, box. to prove that to you, 1,000 times 2 equals 2,000. So you can charge this at maximum, really, safely, for the battery at 2 amps. Um, or you can charge it at an amp. I charge it at about eight or nine hundred milliamps, just because I'm never in a rush. Um, this one is a 3S 11.1 volt, 2,200 milliamp hour, so it's smaller than that one, which is 3,000. Um, but this one has 2C ratings, it has a 35C constant discharge and a 65C bursts. So if you're going to be constantly doing whatever, you don't want to be going any higher than 35C there, but you can do 65 if you're going to be bursting things. Anyway, 
in the, at the back it says no higher charging rate than 2c yeah 5c under urgent needs so again 2c that would be 2200 2200 times 2 equals 4400 so 4.4 .4 amps you can charge that one at 4.4 amps I normally charge this one at about 2 amps to be honest um, well under what it can do um, that's, uh, that would be just under 1c for example of a charge rate um, I don't see any need to charge a battery particularly quick but anyway that is uh, a little small nothing major but there's been some questions about batteries and that kind of stuff um, so maybe that'll might help I don't know whatever it's quite miserable out here today otherwise I'd be uh, I was thinking the last you know the last day I'd go out and do a bit of night throwing but it's quite miserable it's raining a fair bit so uh, no nah, I don't really fancy that I don't like getting them wet and muddy should get this uh, up and going soon uh, Literally all I've got to do is get better servos for it because I, put, <laughs> I took a chance and uh, put this 7.4 volts into them and uh, these aren't really, they're not, they're, these are 6 volt servos. I kind of knew that anyway but I was hoping they might last a bit longer than 2 seconds but no they didn't, they um, went all jiggity jaggedy, you know like a, a robot running out of batteries um, after about 2 seconds of trying it so. Um, we'll get that going soon. There's some uh, servos on the way. As soon as wheel spin models open up again after the New Year's break or whatever they did, I'll get some servos on the way. Lovely. Oh man, I'm so excited. Don't you just love it when you get excited? It's like the excitement's building in your chest. You're like, yes! You know, you, you, you're waiting. You're like, yes, come on, let's go. Now, I've got to do something which I don't keep on top of and I don't do as often as I should do and I'm gonna cover everyone in this Members! Oh members! Thank you very much for being here I know not all of you pay for a shout out however I'm gonna shout you all out because I don't shout any of you out often as, as I really should do So joined four days ago Mr. Jason Thank you very much Rooster Thank you Colton I don't know, Lanny, Linne, I don't know, I can't pronounce everyone's name properly, but thank you, Nitro Aaron, thank you, Savage XL, Big Block, thank you, Dale Davis, thank you, Alfie Fury, thank you, Mar Martin, I don't know how you pronounce that name, my apologies, but thank you, uh, Alistair, thank you, and Thomas, thank you, all of you members, thank you very much, and um, as I say, some of you pay for shout outs as well as early access. I don't shout you out as often as I should do and I'm apologising for that but I appreciate you all being there, being a member and uh, helping me out a lot because um, as I say, it's, although this is a hobby for me, doing this, um, uh, you know, the YouTube videos and all that, it's a hobby, I enjoy doing it. I get massive fun out of actually filming because I like the filming part and the editing, it's good fun and the fact that I can share stuff with you, you know what I mean? I can share <laughs> charging batteries, I can share RC stuff like that, I can share nitro cars, nitro engines and all sorts. I get great enjoyment out of that. I do want to try and make an, my own track, so buy a piece of land somewhere out the way where noise doesn't matter and make a track, yeah? That is my dream that I want to do, so, you know, everything has to start somewhere, so how many have we got? Ten. All ten of you, thank you very much. Now let's move on to subscribers. Subscribers, there are 5,389 of you currently. Thank you very much. That's incredible. Very nice to see. And although probably not all 5,389 of you lot or them, whoever, do watch every video, I still appreciate every single one of you, especially the ones who come back regularly and watch all the videos and comment as well. You're all great people and I'm glad you enjoy the content that I do because, oh man, I enjoy making it. So if you lot enjoy watching it as much as I enjoy making it, that is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. You know, you must have real happy lives. So thanks everyone for being here. Now let's have a look at some comments as well, shall we? Is that buzzing a bit loud? Because I'm trying to charge up this battery here. 
but there's a buzzing isn't there so if you want I can turn that off for the time being right in the old comments bit at the moment we have um, the crazy dad crazy dad nitro nice mate I really enjoy the video mate happy new year's eve <laughs> take care woo if you haven't seen him go and have a look at his channel he's uh, got a good channel he's going on there cheers mr crazy nitro dad dad nitro wherever you are and we've got um ooh, ooh jimmy flip charge the battery 0.5 amp i've had some of those packs stored for 10 years and they still charge nice to see an old my dave car they are still going haven't seen any kits for you really well that 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 my dave mini stock that ain't old that's not old 2015 I bought that and they still do them I had one that was from the early 80s I had that one I sold that I sold that I was, I was you know I regret selling it because I wanted to keep it but I had to sell it because I needed some dollar but that was from 1980s that one there's 2015 that ain't that old they do still do them I think go on the Mardi website they're still there I'm having a proper battery day today I'm charging up making sure me um because this is a lead acid battery I like to try and keep them chopped up and charged all the time because they're not like um, lipos or nickel metal hydrate or anything like that. Lead acid ones, they tend to like to be kept charged, in my experience anyway. So keeping this one, giving it a good old charge. I've only ever had to charge it once and that was when I got it. And I got that probably the beginning of the summer, 2023. And I've only charged it once and it's done a lot, man. It's been... Cool. I don't know how many hours I've had using it, but obviously you only use it two or three times, didn't you, when you're out and about, so it gets a little burst. It don't really drain it a lot, but, yep, yeah, still like to keep it charged. It's sat there now for probably two or three months. No, not, not quite that, probably about, yeah, two or three months, actually, probably, yeah, because we're in January now. Probably two or three months, maybe and maybe four months it's sat there and not had any use because I've not been out doing anything, so... It might have gone a little bit flat. Because when I took the uh, the B3 out of the MP9 and put it in the in this S35, oh, I didn't use it, have I? Because uh, that one's got a pull start, and that one is the only one that needs a starter box at the moment. So, yeah. Can't wait to get me servos, though. Bloody hell. For a bit of fun, I might convert this Savage to the uh, high voltage. A lot of people don't like, know, like... People who do racing and all that, they've all said to me, don't put decent servos in a Savage, it'll be a waste. But I think, I think it'll be, I don't think it'll be a waste at all. I think it'll be good. And, um, yeah, if I can get hold of some high voltage servos, I'll, I'll, I'll convert it all over. And uh, we'll have a, not only will it be quick from engine power, but it'll be quick steering. It'll just be, it'll just be the nuts of a Savage and, uh, It'll be one to rival, that's for sure. Right, I'm out of here. It's a windy afternoon now, and it's the end of the day, so I'm going indoors for a, the night. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Appreciate every single one of you. As I always say, treat everyone equally. Always be happy. Do you know what I mean? There's no need to be miserable. Rush far too short to be miserable. You know, don't be one of them ones walking around being miserable, moaning at everyone for everything. Just try to be a little bit more go ha go happy, go lucky if you can. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Bye.